Brand new to Content Editor permissions, we have an advanced section unique to two and three column sections. These are call-out boxes, which can be used to highlight specific areas within a section of your site. A really good example is on the front page of my site right here. But these sections are also available for basic page as well. I'm going to jump over to my facilities page to give an example. So right here, I'm going to enter the editing interface and scroll all the way down to advanced and select a columns three. Under column content, I'm going to choose call out box. And each call out box consists of an image, a link, and a title with images at an 800 by 500 pixel ratio. I have a couple of images on my desktop of Canvas that I want to use, so I'm going to open one up in Photoshop. First, I'm going to make sure I have the Crop tool selected. And I'm going to set the ratio to 800 by 500. And that looks pretty good, so I'm actually going to hit the check mark up here to finalize the crop. And now the most important part, and please do not skip this step, is exporting at the correct size. So first I'm going to go to File, Export, Export As. I'm going to make sure the format here is set to JPEG and the quality to 75%. This is important because it provides a crisp, sharp image, but without extraneous file sizes, and thus a slower page load. I'm going to set my width down here to 800, and you'll see the height automatically changed to 500. Now if I click out of this box, you may see the width change to 797, the height to 501, something like that. It doesn't have to be exact. If the width here was initially smaller than 800, you either overdid cropping or started with too small of an image, and you'll need it to be bigger or risk a blurry image due to upscaling. After that, I'm going to hit Export All, and I have the opportunity to name my file, so I'm just going to put Facilities, the page it's going to go on, and then the subject of the photo. So this was Ohio Union Brutus. And I'm okay with saving on my desktop, so I'm going to hit Export. And now I'm going to head back over and upload my image. I'm going to hit Select Media, and then head to Upload Images. And I can either drag or drop files directly onto here to upload them, or go to Select Files, and then choose my image I want to upload. So right here, I'm going to give this an alternative text title of Brutus Buckeye Statue at the Ohio Union. And we hit Select Images, and it should insert my image for me into the page. Underneath that, I can give the image a URL to link to. And since this is an illustrative example, I'm just going to link it to the About page. However, on a real site, I may choose a page with information on campus tours or something related to this image and topic. So I'm going to type in About and choose my page. And then for the link text, this is just going to be the text that shows up underneath the box. So I'm going to put about our campus. I'm going to quickly repeat this three times and meet you back here. Now I've finished my call-out box section, I want to point out two things to you before we finish this video. The first is this column style. When we're doing call-out boxes, we always want to select one-third, one-third, one-third for the three column. And if we're doing a two-column call-out box, it's going to be one-half, one-half. The second thing is this Publish checkbox. If you add more than three boxes to the segment, or in the case of two columns, more than two, you may unpublish boxes to hide them and display others. This makes it easy for you to keep several call-out boxes waiting in the wings, so to speak, to be enabled or disabled at different points in the year. So finally here, I'm going to save my page to view the final product. And as you can see down here, each section I've added is available to view on the live page. This marks the end of the content editor training course. Choose the entire playlist with the link on the left side of the video, or go to the channel via the link on the right.